Salo bia France, Ibo people. Ekele kwa muno, nde wono. Nkonye ma, de ma one me ya jisike. Nkonye ma one me ade hon ma ya hapo ya makane, eji hen hojo, anye ishi. Ekele kwa se kwa muno, azo. Good evening. Good night. Good morning and good afternoon. Depends on your time zone. Where you are listening to me from. I found it imperative this moment to talk to Biafrans and to talk to Igbos who believe in freedom and who believe in Mazen and Dekano and who believe in Simon Eba. I want to tell you people to be courageous. Don't shake. Nothing is happening. Yes. Uh, this issue have prolonged for about four to six days now ago where people are reporting that Mazda Simon Eba is missing. So, but today, it has finally come up that the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile was arrested by Finland police after the visitation of um, some Nigerian politicians including Igbo politicians to Finland. And what was the reason why they got him arrested? They say he is sponsoring terrorism. People donate money for him to destroy Nigeria. He is causing mayhem. All right, he's disorganizing Nigeria. He want to divide Nigeria. He's inciting violence in the southeast, and so on and so forth. But I want to tell you people something. Number one. You should understand that the arrest of Simon Eba is to upgrade Biafra nation. The arrest of Simon Eba is now very wide all over the world. Why was he arrested? Why should he be arrested? Because he said, Biafrans should defend themselves and fight for their freedom. And that is self-determination and self-defense, which is an international constitution. Simon Eba was not in Nigeria inciting violence. Simon Eba they did not shoot anybody, if you don't know, in Nigeria. Simon Nepa did not kill anybody in Finland. Simon Nepa did not incite any violence in Finland. What he is saying is the truth. Let my people go. You people should not forget the comment that Mazen Namdekano's wife made against Simon Eba. And this was why I was telling you people yesterday to relax your mind. Let us not move with the force. Let's know. Let's know the causes of our problems and let's know how to fight it. 
You are getting what I'm saying now. Simon Epa is safe and sound. Nothing is wrong with him. He was only being arrested by Finland police officers. If you go to Sahara Reporter newspaper, Nigerian newspaper, you will see what I'm saying. If you go go late, you will see what I'm saying. Nothing is wrong absolutely with Simon Eba. Don't forget that the same allegation they are laying on Simon Eba today was the allegation they laid on Mazen Namdekano and planned and kidnapped him. All right? Mazen Namdekano is in the DSS custody today for four years because he said the truth. I want to tell their friends something. I want to tell Igbo people something. I want to tell Nigerians something. I want to tell the whole world something. That even if we didn't come to social media to air our view and to say the truth, Biafra fighting will not stop. I'm telling you the truth. Nobody will stop the, rest, the restoration of Biafra. Nobody. But what I'm telling those who are listening to me now, because some people, especially our mothers and our fathers and our brothers and sisters, those who believed that hope is coming as Biafra is about to be restored, on December 2nd, and today, lo and behold, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile was arrested by Finnish government. Let me tell you something. They arrested him to make him popular. I want to tell you that I didn't see anything wrong in the arrest. You can arrest a president. You can arrest a senator. You can arrest an inspector general of police. You can arrest army chief. Anybody can be arrested. And the Finland government have made comment they said that the arrest of Simon Eba is going to pass through logical um, uh, 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 system. You know, they are going to follow the proceeding, proceed, the law procedure, the procedure of law, the rule of law. That if all the allegations that the Nigeria government have laid on Simon Epa uh, truth, then Simon Epa will be imprisoned. But if they are not truth, they will release him. All right? And if you remember, you can significantly say the truth when the ambassador of Finland in Nigeria or something of that nature when the woman was saying Nigerians should take it calm that what happened in Simon Epa case and Biafra is what have to pass through the uh, the, the law hmm? is, is going to be through the use of law the rule of law is not going to be by force to extradite him, to kill him, to jail him, to beat him. No, not at all. So, 
Finland is well advanced in knowledge, understanding, and wisdom about law. What did the law say? Finland too fought their own freedom from Russia. Sweden fought their own from Russia. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many countries. Now, why should do Igbo politicians, I used to tell you, Igbo politicians are evil. And Nigerian politicians join hand together to make sure that Simon Eba is arrested. So that December 2nd will not be declared because if December 2nd is being announced that Biafra have been restored as a nation, there is nothing anybody can do about it. But listen to me, those who are listening to me, listen carefully. I want to tell you something. To arrest Simon Epa or Simon Epa's arrest is the beginning of Biafra restoration. You may not understand what I'm saying. Simon Epa's arrest is the beginning of restoration of Biafra. And Simon Epa's arrest is going to be the beginning of violence in Nigeria. It's going to be another war. Nigeria, Biafra, Second Civil War, if you don't know. <laughs> so, I don't have problem with the arrest of Simon Eba in Finland. Because he is innocent. He didn't commit any offense. Though some of you outside there may be very happy, dancing, rejoicing, and jubilating, especially Igbo politicians and Nigeria uh, terrorist government. Are you getting me now? So, why I'm telling you what I'm telling you is this. When they arrested, when they kidnapped Mazen Namdekano, they never knew that Simon Epa is going to rise and rise above Mazen Namdekano. And so also, they don't know the person that is going to come up now to declare Biafra restoration on December 2nd. So, permit me to tell you that Nigeria government and Igbo politicians are fools. They are dealing with the people they don't know. And it is now Nigeria is going to end. I'm telling you the truth. Where the whole world is aware that Nigeria is a terrorist country declared by United Nations and United States of America in the world index that Fulanis are the most deadliest terrorists in the world. Number four in the world index. Nigeria is number four in the world index as a terrorist country. And what they want to do now is this. By arresting Simon Eba, they want to fully Islamize Biafra land, Fulanize Igbo land. So Igbo land will become Fulanese country. 
my friend, I think they are not reasoning well. I'm not blaming Finland for what they have done. What they have done is what they're supposed to do. So, but you should know one thing. Nothing will happen to Simon Eba. He is in a safe hand and is in a safe place. They mentioned five of them that were arrested. Four people, including Simon Eba, were arrested. Those people don't have a problem because Simon Eba is not a terrorist. Tinibu is a terrorist. Nigeria militaries are terrorists. Nigeria DSS and police are terrorists. If you are doubting me, Zanfra State Governor have asked Nigeria Chief Defense Staff to come and defend himself if he doesn't have a hand in the terrorism going on in Nigeria, banditry going on in Nigeria. He refused to come out and declare himself free from it. Zanfra State is on fire. Terrorists everywhere. We have evidence of what we are saying. Sokoto State, Kaduna State, Niger State, Nasrawa State, everywhere is saturated in the north with the terrorists. But Nigeria government does not talk about it. They kill people. They behead people at will. 500, 200. The whole world and world leaders and world powers are seeing it and hearing it. United Nations is aware of the whole thing going on. Genocide being committed by foreigners in Nigeria. But they don't want to say a word. They don't want to follow it up. So evidence, or evidence are there. Listen to me, my friend. There is nothing, absolutely, that will make Biafrans and Nigeria to agree. But I'm telling you, they don't know what is coming. Whether Simon Epa or without Simon Epa, Biafra restoration must be declared that day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So that Mazen Namdekano was in detention of DSS does not stop Biafra agitation. That arrested Simon Epa in Finland by Finland authorities is the beginning of Biafra real agitation for sovereign state to be restored, for Biafra to be restored. So what I'm telling you this moment, you don't need to jitter. You don't need to cry. You don't need to panic. Biafra soldiers Biafra Resistance Forces, BDF, and etc. I believe every one of you knows what to do because it is time. Left for I, General Meto Maribe. I don't have anything to say. All I have to tell you people is that peace must reign in Biafra land. Peace must be restored in Igbo land. Because if Nigeria government needed peace for Nigeria, he would have released Mazen Namdekano since. And if they needed peace, they will not go to the extent of touching Simon Eba. I leave you here.